So are you getting images like you're on Wix and you're uploading your images that you created on Canva and when you upload it, you're getting this blurriness that's driving you nuts? Okay, well, I'm gonna show you how to fix this really quick and easy here, all right? So what you're going to do, all right, you're gonna go into your Canva account, click on share, and then you're gonna click on download. Once you do that, if it's not already selected, you need to click on PNG because you want these files to be a PNG. And you're gonna see here that the size is whatever the size that you created, okay? So I will show you something. There's a little trick here that you have to do in Wix in order for this to work correctly, but I'm gonna do this part first right now okay so if this doesn't work this size and it becomes blurry then you need to go back into your canva and you need to you need to go up a size for me i like to go to the next whole number so that's two okay and i'm going to download the three that i want and i'm going to hit download it's going to put this into a zip file for me in which then i have to locate so make sure you know where you're saving this so uh, I was able to locate the zip file and obviously it's in this folder here and I'm going to go and open it so it can pull up the folder. Once it does that, which you can see here, um, right there, I'm going to go back into Wix. So I'm back into Wix and now what I need to do is I need to, I'm just gonna change this whole entire section here and by doing that, I'm gonna go into the plus sign on the left-hand corner, add an element, and I'm gonna add a um, slider gallery, but I'm gonna do the one with a postcard slider. And once that uploads, I'm going to stretch it out. So remember how I was telling you when you're sizing it up in Canva, it's, uh, you size it up to whatever, um, up to the next whole number or whatever, uh, that is based on when you created the template and Canva says, what size do you want? That's what it's based on. So what I do in this situation, when, if you're just, let's say, taking an image from what Wix has already created, you can find out what the size is of the image by just trying to upsize it or downsize it. And when you do that, you're going to see... Um, the dimensions come up here. Do you see that on the, uh, well, the, it just moved down to the bottom left-hand corner. It says with 963 by height 388. So those, that's, those numbers are the numbers that you're inputting into Wix when you are, um, when you're adding your dimensions for your template, you know, at the beginning when you hit the plus sign. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it the same size as the one that's blurry. And let me go from the top. Uh, this is so annoying when it does that. Okay, let's try this. Let's bring it up a bit. And then we'll do that again. Okay, then bring it down. Size it up. Bring it up a bit. Oh, is that centered? Uh, there we go. And then just that little part right there, bring it up, let go. Okay, so I just missed that number. So I'm just gonna try it again so I can see what those dimensions were. And it is 1,168 1, by 281, okay? Let me go back into Wix and show you that. So remember when we hit on share and then we went to download and then we had the size type to PNG. And you see where it says size and we upped it to two. But if we go back to one, that was the size that I cre originally created. So it was 1,104 1, by 281. I'm not totally off, so I'm not bothered to changing this. It, sh it, it will still look good, but if you want it precise, you would have to then go back. And by doing that, you would go to the resize um, uh, button here. And then change your width and height dimensions. And make, make sure it's in pixels because that's what it is in Wix, okay? And then you may have to do a little bit of alteration sizing up. But when you're done, you go back in here. Now, like I said, you could just download it and try and see if it, if Wix will still have your pics blurry. And if that's the case, that's when you come back in here and then you up it to the next whole size, okay? All right. 
So now back in Wix, I've created my dimension uh, and, and in regards to the photos that the gallery, I should say. And so I'm going to go and I'm going to change images and I'm going to get rid of all these ones here. Then I'm going to hit add images. And when I go to add images, I'm going to go to upload media and then upload from my computer. And I'm going to search for those um, uh, files that I just created. Okay. So I'm going to select those files and I'm going to hit open and Wix is going to download it. And when I'm done here, I'm going to select those, all three of them. And so just wait for number three. Okay. So I'm hitting shift and, um, the left mouse button. So it selects all those and then I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit add to gallery. So now it's uploaded. So now you, if you want to um, change it in order, you definitely can do that, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. And I'm going to hit done. Okay. And it's just going to take a second. And once they're all up, like in this case, <clears throat> now you can see it automatically has changed the blurriness, like the blurriness is totally gone now. So I'm gonna preview this so you can have a good look and see what it looks like when the site is live. And look at that, y'all. It looks good. So obviously I'm gonna move the, the one in the background. I haven't done that yet, but we'll do that. I just want you to see like the, 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 the clearness now, the blurriness is totally gone. And you can kind of see the blurriness on the back one, from the back, from the previous one I did. So there's a huge difference there, huge difference. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and like this video, sorry. And y'all stay blessed and have a great day. Y'all take care now. Bye.